Welcome to the MetaTrader 4 module. The first thing you should know is that MetaTrader 4 is a trading platform used by tons of traders and brokers, but it is not the only trading platform out there. It is definitely the most popular for retail traders and is definitely my favorite as well. With it, traders are able to see real-time currency pair prices, open or change orders in the market, and it helps a lot with technical analysis. In fact, one of the nice things that I really like about the MT4 platform is that it has a ton of currency pairs and also indicators that are pre-installed for you to use. It's also very customizable so that you can make things look the way you want and that you can help spot patterns and breakouts easier. Another nice thing is that we at Blue Edge Financial can pre-install any EAs or softwares onto the platform. So here we are in the MT4 platform and we're gonna go through the basics in this section so that you can be familiar with where everything is. The MT4 platform can't be accessed through a website. You have to install the platform on your computer or on your phone before you gain access to your trades and currency prices. You should have MetaTrader 4 pre-installed specifically for the broker that you're using on your VPS, or you can also download the MT4 from whatever broker that you're using as well. Now that we're inside the MT4 platform here, the first thing I want to cover is how to add pairs. So you can see here on the left, we have what's called the market watch. This is the current time in the market. This time here is going to tell you when the Forex day is starting. For example, 25 minutes ago at three o'clock my time or at 000, the market watch time is when a new day started in the market. So that's when the daily changeover is. And that's when you're going to get swap fees and all that stuff that we talked about as well. As soon as it changes over to the next day, which is when this hit zero, zero, zeros all across there. So the next part down here in market watch is um, this section, which has all the different pairs. So you can see here, if I just double click, you can see that you can add any pair you want. For example, if I wanted to add um, USD CAD, there you go. Then I just type it in, click out here, and there you have it. It added the pair to our market watch. And then to open a pair, you simply right click it and you can hit chart window and you can see that'll open the pair. So whatever pair that you wanna trade with, you can just add it over here and then um, right click it and hit chart window and that'll pop it up over here for you to see the uh, market and see that specific chart. The next thing I wanna talk about here now that we have uh, USDCAD, for example, you can see it's on the one hour chart. You can change simply up here by clicking these. You can see we have the 15 minute, the four hour, the daily, uh, the weekly, the um, one minute chart. So you can click these and you can see it's changing here to M1, one minute, or H1, one hour right there if you just click on it. And an, another quick thing I wanna talk about is you've probably seen drawing trend lines and stuff like that. You can see here that we have a diagonal line so I can click that and then click here and I can draw this diagonal line just like that or a horizontal line here and you can drag that. And if you double click it, in fact, you can move it up and down. Um, and then we have a vertical line here that you can add as well, double click it and then you can move this one as well. Um, and then this right here that I like, this is called the crosshair. You can click on that and you can actually um, select somewhere in the market, click and then drag. And you can see here that we can see, you know, 775, that's 77.5 pips. So you can actually measure the number of pips um, with this crosshair. And I, I really like this a lot. A couple other things to talk about before going into how to actually enter a trade and the different ways to enter trades and pending orders and whatnot. You can see up here that we have this bar um, and you can see here, for example, I can change this to a bar chart or here to a, a candlestick chart, or we can go here to a line uh, graph or chart as well. So we have that. You can zoom in here. Obviously, here I'll switch back to that. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. As you can see there, um, you can click on this and this actually will arrange. I have a lot of these open. There you go. So you can arrange these. Um, you know, if you have, let's say, four charts open, you want to watch all four of them, uh, then you could watch all four. Obviously, I have too many open there, but uh, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize one of these again just to have that. Um, and then right here, this button will actually put you at the current place in the market. So it'll fast forward you there. If you click off of that, um, you're able to drag, you know, and look at past data and it won't keep skipping you forward to um, the current place in the market. This here I like as well. This will kind of shift everything to the left so that you have some room here. Uh, it'll help you analyze as well if you're drawing trend lines or anything like that for you to see kind of this upcoming part in the market just to give you a little more breathing room and feel a little more comfortable with some space over there. 
And then up here, uh, this is a quick way to get to the indicators, which we'll actually talk about in the next section. Uh, here, this is to change the um, time frame of the chart. Like I said, I think it's just easier to click over there, but you can change it here as well. And then this last part here is um, to load any templates or anything if you've saved some type of template uh, on your chart and you want to load that, or if you want to add any of these indicators here as well, it's a quicker way to get to those. In the next section, we'll go over how you can place orders and pending orders, and then we'll also go over how you can add indicators to your chart and the different settings on those. So I'll see you in the next section. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you join our free Discord channel to get access to all the cheat sheets and a bunch of other cool bonuses. The next video in the course is right here.